Faye is Dana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solo Trip Podcast episodes. We're talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I am dealing with. As always, I tend to talk about things that like I'm literally currently going through. And for this one, I feel like it's so relevant to talk about creating our own schedule and being able to slow down and really get clear on what we want in our lives and what our priorities should be, you know? Because we've spent so, so long in survival mode, having to work and survive and do all of these things just to put a roof over our head and to be able to eat and stuff like that. And now with this whole pandemic situation, literally the entire world has been affected by it, where we're all in lockdown or in certain stages of this lockdown situation, you know, and we've had to spend quite a few months at home and in situations where we're like surrounded by other people or where we're alone, you know, depending on what your circumstances are. And for a lot of people, it really has thrown their whole lives upside down. And I just kind of feel like it's so important now to prioritize and get clear, especially get clear on what we actually want and what actually matters, you know? because we have been prioritizing a lot of things that don't matter and like putting our energy and our focus and our time into things that don't better us, don't benefit us, don't elevate our lives whatsoever. So I just think it's really important now and we have the perfect opportunity right now to be able to sit with ourselves and get clear on what we want and like Some people could be starting up new businesses and starting up new hobbies, new passions, things that you actually care about and actually want to do. And like now is the perfect time to be able to do that. Whereas before in survival mode, you probably like it would have been the last thing on your mind. You wouldn't have even thought to take up that thing that you really enjoy and really love to do. So now is like the perfect time where you can really get clear on all of the things that you love, everything that you want to do whether it's like, it doesn't even have to be something that you make money on, it could literally just be something that brings you joy and something that you're passionate about. Like for me, I started playing Sims again, which I haven't played in so long, but it used to be a distraction for me back when I was like experiencing depression and stuff. It was a bit of an escape, like a negative escape from my life kind of thing. But now, Sometimes every now and then when I just want to let my inner child out, I'll just go back to it and just like enjoy that time and take that time to do something that I just find fun, you know, instead of it being a punishing thing of like, I'm distracting myself or I'm procrastinating. So now I'm trying to find something to fill the void. Now it can just be a fun little thing that I'll do every now and then when I feel like it, you know, and I think it's really key to have that balance of just not doing anything to make money, not doing anything for any kind of end result or to get anything back, but just simply doing it because you enjoy it and it makes you feel good in that moment. And isn't that what this life is about? It's just to feel good, really. And a lot of things that we have to do don't feel good and it feels like a chore and feels like we have to do it even though we don't want to do it. And now we can really like just prioritize and understand ourselves and what actually feels good to us because we're all different obviously so what feels good to you is not necessarily going to feel good to me but now we have the perfect opportunity to really be able to get clear on that so when the um like situation does start to lift and we are able to go back out and do things like we have a plan, we have a goal, we have something that we want to work towards that actually brings us joy and makes us feel good and elevates our lives rather than our goals being like oh I need to get this thing done like this chore done or this work project done that I don't enjoy and I don't want to do but I need to do it because I have to make money and I need to be able to afford to live you know like we can do things um that 
even though it is obviously about money, like we do need to survive, we can actually do things that we enjoy and are passionate about that is possible even if it's something that's on the side of a regular job like for me I do have a normal job that I work part-time but then I do that to be able to fund what I'm doing but then I still do what I'm doing that actually brings me joy if that makes sense so like it's about finding the balance where okay we need to cover our bills okay we have to do the things that we have to do that we don't necessarily want to do but we can also do the other things that bring us joy we don't have to just solely focus on survival i think that's like the key message that i'm trying to say is that yes we do have to survive but that doesn't have to be our sole focus we can actually prioritize our time and do things that feel good that prioritizing is key because oftentimes we spend so much time on like bullshit stuff that we don't actually need to be doing like watching tv and stuff we spend so much time just doing numbing things like mind numbing things just to kind of numb ourselves out from the fact that we're feeling miserable and that we're not happy we want to numb that feeling rather than going and doing things that will actually change that feeling and help to like allow that feeling to move through us we instead of doing the things that bring us joy that would transform and transmute those negative feelings we just sit there and try and numb them out and I've definitely done that a lot like I said with playing sims a few years ago I used to just literally try and numb out all of the negative emotions I was feeling and just go into the, like a virtual reality and create somebody else's life you know so it's really easy to be able to um like fall into that trap and want to escape but you could just get to know yourself and get clear on all of the things that you actually like and then go and do more of those things because surely that would be like way more fun than numbing shit out surely but obviously it's not always easy and it takes a lot of self-awareness and a lot of facing yourself and that does mean facing the negative which is not fun and nobody wants to do that really but that's like the key to be able to transmute it so obviously it's difficult to do at first and it's not fun to do at first but then when you do it once you like take that step that's terrifying and uncomfortable the like uncomfortableness slowly starts to release and unravel and get easier you know so yeah I just thought that this was a cool topic to talk about right now because it's something that I'm obviously having to do myself as we're all in kind of a similar situation with having to be at home and stuff so it's definitely a powerful time right now it's just about how you choose to use it you can use it to just sit around and be miserable and depressed and unhappy or you can take back control of your life and even though that doesn't mean that you brush those emotions to the side because you can't do that you have to face them which is not easy but you can take back control of your life and try and do something about it by literally just honouring yourself and getting comfortable with yourself and being present with yourself so then you can uncover why you're feeling negative because that negative emotion is literally your signal it's your road sign it's your like amber alert telling you that something's wrong that you're not doing something that feels good or brings you joy like that emotion is literally telling you that you need to make a change in your life so if you pay attention to what thing that is triggering what thing like what aspect in your life that is trying to guide you towards where you need to actually make that change like what part of your life needs the change when you look at that look at that road signal and you realize which aspect of your life is the one that's causing this emotion then you can create that change and you can start to choose better things like things that will actually feel better to you you know but we can't do that if we don't have awareness of it so that's why self-awareness is key but it's not always fun <laughs> so I'm not sitting here telling you oh my god you need to snap out of depression and you need to just go and do things that bring you joy like no it obviously it's not as easy or straightforward as that but at the same time it is as straightforward as that it just means that you have to take those steps and those steps are not easy so yes but it is fun once you like once you start to um 
uncover all of these things and then you start to put them into action oh my god it will transform your life and you'll slowly but surely like one step at a time your life will begin to change and you'll start doing more things that you love and then that will trigger new ideas of other things that you'll love and then it's just like a ripple effect you know and you just start to feel more joy every day because you're actually doing things that feel good to you and that actually matter to you and have a purpose in your own heart you know not going to look the same as everybody else's but it's about what matters to you and what feels good to you so I just think we could use this time wisely all of us could use this time wisely to really transform our lives and create them to how we want them to be but that doesn't mean that when the pandemic ends that you'll just walk into this incredible new life like obviously not everything takes time it takes effort and consistency and stuff so it's not just going to be like a flick of a switch but it's the start it's literally the start of this transformation and like change in your life gradually you know and now is like the perfect opportunity to make that change and like take that first step we could literally take that first step now and that is what I'm trying to do for my own life so I thought I would share the message for you and hopefully that will inspire some of you to literally even if it just means you sit down and you write on a piece of paper all of your ideas and all of the things that you do like and all of the areas that you want to change like that's the first step that's a start you know so I hope this helps you and inspires you to take that first step and I'm sending you so so much love during these crazy times I know they are very up in the air and I feel like I keep saying that in every video because they're always during this kind of crazy situation that we don't know when it's going to end but it's only temporary and it really will end it's just transforming you know it's changing it's transforming and depending on how you perceive that and how you embody that and how you move through that will determine how you feel about that and how it affects your life you know like we have the power to shape our own lives we just need to realize that so that we can step into it so thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you all links to my music my social media my phone number my website and everything else about me will be in the description box below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of every video that i up, uh, up, upload i knew that sentence was too good to be true i thought i just made it without stumbling and then what happened <laughs> But yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like, in my range all white.